Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of uh, Satisfactory. That actually got finished. Uh, it's good. Oh, I thought I analyzed already. I'll go ahead and start analyzing again because it apparently didn't save when I left because I it didn't do the auto save apparently. But anyways, yeah, uh, we're ready to go to start getting some uh, upgrades done. I should have enough to actually get a few of them done. I've been looking at what I want to do first, and I think logistics might be the one I want to do. Just so we can get that conveyor sort of the conveyor merger, and I think I get, I think it's set a bigger inventory. So anyway, we need 200 plates and 200 rods, which are just over here. Uh, I'm thinking about getting all the containers in a centralized area. Uh, I think it was 200 of each, so 200 of those, and we'll take 200 of these. I also did a whole bunch of farming and just a few minutes ago. Gathered like all the branches in the area, just tried to get as much biomass as I could because, you know, I've got three generators running and it's going to be a while before we get coal up and going, as far as I know. Alright, so 200, 200 rods, 200 plates, and 500 wire. And guess what? We have 500 wire and I haven't done a thing for it. And it was actually all produced while I was clearing this area out. Look at this. It's all clean and pristine. It's almost like somebody actually cares. Uh, if they add pollution into the game, it won't look so nice when I'm done with it. That's for sure. Anyways, let's go ahead and get some conveyor mergers going. So, okay, 500 wire. And launch. Oh, and now this thing actually takes off. Don't hurt me, don't hurt me. I think I was watching Jack Septica and he had his uh, editor Robin playing with him and one of them actually stood on top of the thing tried to exit out of space and he didn't say that it didn't work out too well. Alright, uh, so I have to wait till it gets back before I can upgrade the next one. Alright, so where are we going here? What are we doing? We are going to... Uh, it's a good question. Uh, we should actually try to isolate that uh, that limestone deposit. Actually, what I might do, what we'll do is we'll set up another container here, just because we can. And I'll put a container here because I'm going to get a container, or a conveyor bringing the other containers, stuff from the other container down here, so it's all basically in one unified place, so I know where it, where it all is. And then what I might actually do, we might try elevating conveyors. I know we can use these poles to go up and down. Uh, let's see here. Aha. Gotcha. Alright, let's see if we can uh, get some funky conveyors going on here. And I don't think I have plates on me, do I? No, I, uh, I might have enough. Uh, let me up. I hear something screaming and it bugs me. Okay, so we'll take the... Actually, no, 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 no. We'll go four. Let's see, where should we put this? So the container's right there. Uh, whoa. Got all jumpy there. So we'll go here. And I'm doing this just because I can. That's only set heights. Which is fine. Do it there. We'll run over here. Don't know how far the conveyors will actually stretch. But let's see if that actually is a good spot right there. And let's see if it actually reaches. It does. Nice. Okay. And I don't know if you have to go a specific way or it just follows the, the machine's specific inputs and outputs. Eh, it's too far away. Of course it is. Alright, so uh, let's put another one up here. Then. Simple. I don't care. You know, I don't think the miners have to ever have to be moved, so we'll just do it like that. Huh? And... There we go. And... There we go. 
and then just connect one to there and then all the wire should come out and meet me down there no oh, come on I'm gonna go for a ride I know it's slow because it's not the mark four but just because we can no it actually does it does actually move you it moves you fast in the parts it's an expressway okay that's my mess alright so this is done let's see what we can do next here Okay, uh, not to worry about that. Uh, inventory slots could always come in handy. So we'll do that. So another 200, 100, and 250. Alright, now I don't actually have to run all the way up there to get the, the wire because it should be all on its way here. So I'll grab the plates and the frames first, or the plates and the rods. Is this really moving that slow? Wow, it is. I think I forgot to gotta grab a little more. Actually, I grabbed them all. Hee <laughs> hee, of course I did. Yeah, definitely gotta get some power slugs going here. Some speed upgrades. And that. That. And. We got wire yet? No, we don't. It'd be quicker to run over here and pick it up. If it does 60 a minute, it's going to take 4 minutes for it all to come down here, so I'll just run up here quickly uh, for the time being. Sure, I'll take it all. It really makes me wonder the lag. Like, the amount of conveyors I'm going to be having running, I probably be going with conveyors just for the sake of having conveyors instead of using the truck just because I like conveyors. I don't like generating lag, but if lag comes with it, then, then lag comes with it. What can I say? Putting the, de putting the developers, giving the developers a run for their money. Oh, yeah, that worked. I didn't have to actually separate it. Alright, so now let's, uh, Reorganize that. Oh, hey, I got more inventory space. Perfect. Mm. Alright, so yeah, I have one of those right here. Now, I'm wondering, is this like multiple boxes? Like, does it do they link up somehow magically? Let's find out. Like, honestly, I couldn't see the reason of actually having this. Other than just keeping something close at hand. That's uh, fine. I don't care. Okay. So, what are we doing? We are... We're going to get some automation going. We're going to look for that limestone. Uh, I need a personal miner first. Let's go make one of those. Okay. Portable miner. Or portable miner. I need four cables. Actually, that's what we need to do. I think we should move, start getting some better area here. Maybe go over here. It's going to be slow for now, but I'm going to set up a, one of those splitters and have it going into another, another, um, what am I talking here? Having a split. Uh, Having a splitter come off of this conveyor to split into another, uh, geez, what are they called? Uh, constructor, yes. That's the word I'm looking for. Uh, this thing right here. We'll get another one of these going, probably. Sure. Probably here. Or maybe, maybe we'll organize things a little bit better. actually do that I think I mean meant to hit Q not tab uh, hmm because this would have to go into another constructor what's in there right now not much let's take it down okay we'll do that uh, let's get out of here uh, 
Wrong button, of course. Of course, it's always the wrong button. Can it? Oh, that's cool. You can actually just sit here and pick it up off the conveyor, the conveyor belt. I like that. All right. I'll take you. I lost some wire. Oh, no. It's the end of the world. Okay, so let's go ahead and put a conveyor. Yes. Conveyor splitter. And we'll go ahead and... Comes out three directions, too. Nice. You know what? Let's do it. I don't think I need the ingots, the gold ingots, for anything else, really. You know what? I think we'll just leave it in line with this. Put it right somewhere around here. Come on. Where's that green line? Ah, I guess I gotta get the, the white box showing up. There it is. And doesn't have to be perfect. When do I ever care about things being perfect? Oh, I guess it helps if I actually had cables of things I'm trying to actually make. I'll be back. As I was saying, make a conveyor splitter. And look at that. Got it on the first try. Alright, and we put a conveyor here, and I'm going to assume it's only going to output to any sides that actually have a conveyor attached to it. So we'll do that. We'll put this conveyor back up to there. And then this one is going to go to another constructor. Which is going to be production constructor. Don't hit the wrong button. Come on, you're making yourself look like an idiot in front of millions of people. Maybe down the road sometime. Oh, there it is again. Yes, oh uh, yeah. I'll get it right of it one of these days, don't worry. You know what? Let's just go straight in the line with it. I was going to have it sort of going parallel with it. And yeah, that should be good. And come on. And line up, line up. Oh yes, I need to reinforce plates. You know, I was just thinking about it while I'm here. Let's see what we can do next. And I was looking at tier 2, and I think optical clearing might be good, because I know the chain cell actually gets you a lot of wood for the biomass. And I am going to need reinforced plates for those, of course. So we might get into that. i got to make a whole bunch of those anyway, so... I will do that. So we'll do that. I wanted to check on MAM, too, to see if MAM's got any good news for me. And, uh, uh, okay. So, what do we get from the barrel nut? Oh, okay. So that's what full scanning of them do. Alright, what do we need for Paleberry? One. Alright. Go ahead and scan that. And, what was I doing? I was making reinforced plates, so I'll be right back. Okay, well, it looks like we have uh, enough for the next upgrade, which is going to be the chainsaw. Uh, which is, like I said, is going to help with the, the biomass. Uh, you get a lot more bio, bio. Yeah, biomass out of the wood than you do the leaves. Anyways, uh, 200 rods. There's 100. There's 200. Nope, not you. Not you. And again, it doesn't matter. You just double click and it moves it on its own. Same with the wire, which is there. Auto stacking would be nice. Oh, I need a little bit more cable. Good thing cable is really fast to make. Okay. And cable. Alright, chainsaw. What do I need to make it? You are now capable of removing foliage that consists primarily of wood. Ten reinforced plates. That's not too bad. I don't need it right now. Again, like I said, proper sorting on inventory would be nice. But that also gets me. What else did I get me? That was a chainsaw that was that. And then we're gonna go for the, the next upgrade, which we find out in four and a half minutes. Okay, oh yeah, we were going to make a compactor. Uh, I should actually check the power situation. Let's see how these hungry bastards are doing. Okay, they're about halfway. Yeah, we haven't quite reached capacity yet. We're running a, hitting a bit of a blockade here on that miner. But that's fine. Get that up so I can see what I'm running into. 
Oh, yeah, yeah. Actually, that should be fine because I topped that up at the same time. Alright, uh, compactor. And we line her up. Wow, I had actually had it there on the first try. Alright, and conveyor there to there. We go ahead and set you to cable. Now, is there actually any configuration on this? No, there isn't. Alright, well, that is fine because. No power. That's why it's fine. Now you got power. So, four, every four seconds. That's not bad. Alright, so now, now I'm going to set up another container. Uh, what I might actually do is try to figure out a good storage area. No, I'm not sure when I actually get the power upgrades. Like, I know there's a slug I can get here somewhere. Where was that thing? It was over by the copper, wasn't it? I can't remember. There was a slug somewhere. I want to go... Well, I see one on the big rock over there, but I ain't getting to that one. But there was another one here somewhere. I want to go grab it, because I think we're going to research that next. There you are. And I don't think I'm going to get to it, because I think I need the jetpack to get up there. We'll see. I can climb a mountain and jump 20 feet in the air, but you never know, right? Let's see if I can get up there. I don't think I can. And I can't scan for it because I think I have to research it before I can scan for it. Let's see if we can get up here. I think I can. Maybe. Maybe not. No, it's a jetpack only type of thing, and I'm a little away from the jetpack. Anyway, let's uh, head back home. Maybe we can see another slug on the way I can grab. I see it. It's a good thing they glow and they're radioactive, huh? It kind of makes me wonder if I'm going to be okay picking these things up. Gonna watch out for the neighbors. I mean, food. I found some more iron. He's going to leave me alone. I'll leave him alone for now. Once I get the slug on the other hand, then it's on. Oop, I just saw to the rock. Okay, this is uh, interesting. How did I get up there? Not this way. And I heard a growl. Well, I'll deal with him in a second here. Up. Oh. Ah, it just keeps pushing me off. Uh, let's try this one more time. Not that way. Or that way. Oh, shut up. I'll do, like I said, I'll deal with you in a minute. Where are you? Where are you? Leave me alone. I'm busy. Yeah, it just keeps pushing me off. Run away! Uh, yeah, we'll leave him be. I really don't want to deal with him. Am I going the right way? Yes, I am. I wasn't sure if that beacon was actually showing the right way or not. Well, that's one slug I'm not getting right now. Or that one. Actually, technically I could. Oh, look at that. Civilization. It's my civilization, but it's civilization nonetheless. There's another one up there. There's one over there. Jeez, these things are everywhere. It's almost like they're native to the planet. Hmm. Makes you wonder. And up there and over there. Not getting those ones. That one, maybe. Let's go run over here quickly. I think that one I might actually be able to get. As long as nothing gets me. Yeah, I'm not dealing with that guy yet. I know what that is. And I know to run the other way. 
Oh, just, just go over here and pick leaves for now. It's a bot I'm really good at. See? Picking leaves. Anyway. Uh, storage. Now, what do I want, actually want to do here? I do have to start moving stuff down because you're awfully cramped up there. Uh, what I could do... I saw it moving. I thought there was something up there. Because uh, I got the miners up there, I might actually go ahead and start placing some new smelters down. Go ahead and we'll turn them around like so. And we'll actually get a whole bunch of them in line. So we'll do one there. Why is that lined up? Oh, because of the ground. But anyway, let's... Uh, I want to see if I can actually get this. It's like every every person, every let's play I watch of this, whoever's doing it, no matter what type of person they are, always tries to get this stuff perfect. That works. All right, we'll grab another one because we only have three mines over here we're dealing with. And come on, where are you? There you are. I think it's because I'm going up slope. Okay, like so. Now for containers. No, oh, okay. What's gonna go on here? One's gonna be for. Cause I want to get, start getting screws being made. Oh yes. Yeah, so oh, this is gonna be quite complicated here. So let me think what I need here. So what I want is I want, the two smelters running. One smelter is going to be doing, uh, going into a cons constructor making plates, one into making rods, and the one making rods is going to be split. Uh, one into a container, one going into another constructor that is going to be going in with another feed off of the plates. Actually, no, let's go through screws and then plates and yada, yada, yada. Anyways, so let us start. So this one is going to be straight up plates. So we'll go ahead and place a constructor over here. Uh, Let's see, we need room. We need room. We're going that way. Will that actually work? You know what? Let's, pu let's put it here. And then it'll branch off from there. I might be able to make this work. Oh, I need reinforced plates. Of course I do. Well, let me get a whole bunch of those made and I'll bring you back. Okay, I have everything now. Yeah, they give me space a little bit better, but don't care. Don't care. And I, I realize I gotta save some room here. So for this one, uh, you know what? This actually might be might be better to go this way instead with it. Just because I actually have these so close. Yeah. Sure, why not? And. Can't afford, why not? Is that, yeah, that's in square with it. Oh, yeah. I made one of those things, one of those mistakes where I saw the number of how many I can make and I thought that's how many I made. Yeah, I made the screws, I never actually made the reinforced plates. Which are here. Which doesn't take long to make. You get the idea. And I was starting to think about power situations. Like, oh my god, am I going to have enough power to do all this stuff? And then I realized, oh yes, I can actually make the generators now. So that is not a problem. It just means I have a lot of biomass. i got to farm. Okay. Uh, compact constructor, please. Now you should be... Yes, you're going to keep the same way. So we're going to do like so. Conveyor belt to there. Okay, the second iron is going to be going into another constructor. That is going to be... Q. Yes, it's not on the hotbar. And then it will turn it this way. And it all lined up. Now this... Do it like that. I didn't actually check to see if it was in line or not. At this point, I don't think it matters anymore. 
Alright, so into that constructor. Now this constructor is going to be going into another constructor. And I might put this one over here. Like so. And let's see. Get to go in the right way. And try to get in line with this one if we can. Try to make it look somewhat good. Now we put a conveyor splitter here, uh, which is going to be under logistics. Nope. Yes, logistics, not organization. All right, and a splitter. Now this splitter is going to go. Uh, let's see here. Let's see if we can line it up with that one. Yeah, I didn't actually notice this until now, but the. The arrows that you see actually correspond to the lines that you see on the, the alignment lines on the ground. So that one to there. No, not there. Yeah, there to there. And that means I gotta get rid of this pole. And then go to this, there, there. Alright, so this is gonna be rods. This this one is going to be going out to screws, which means there's going to have to be another splitter here, mm, or yeah, another splitter. Oh, okay, we can right click and go back right back to the menu. That's good. Uh, let me see here. Uh, oh, I'm out of power. Am I? No, they're not even hooked up, so I don't care about those. Okay, come on, come on. Where are you? There you are. Like so. That's on a funny angle. That'll be fine. Actually, you know what? Let's bring that closer. If I can, let's see how close I can actually get this. Could have gone a little closer. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, do that. And this one here is going to be plates. So this one's going to be another splitter. Go here. And yeah, we'll do this one. Right there. Give us more conveyors out. And this what I'm doing right now is uh, these two are going to be making yada 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 reinforced plates. And I just thought of something. I don't think I actually have the assembler right now. Because I think that's what we need. So let's go back to the hub and see what we actually need for that thing. All the way back over here. Do -do 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 -do. Still chugging along. Perfect. Uh, yes, because the assembler is what you need to make uh, multiple things. Uh, uh. So you actually have to unlock that through here as well. Okay, part assembly, assembler. I think we can do this. Let's do this right now because I got the cables being produced. Uh, what did I need? Oh, it tells me at the corner. 300 plates, 300 rods, and 500 wire. There's 500 wire. One, two. There's 300 plates. Sorry, I wish there was a way to sort the inventory. And 300 rods. And that's going to get me the assembler. And that's actually me getting ahead of myself here. Okay, one, two, three, we'll put those in, those in. Actually, I should need to put those in, but that's besides the point. And another 100 plates and 100 cables, which never actually made it out of storage. But I should have a full stack ready to go. Maybe. What do we got? We do. Uh -huh. 
See, pays to think ahead. So now we can go and get uh, this done so I can make the assembler. I have no idea what I would need to make the assembler. Alright. Launch. Yeah, six minutes for the next one. Uh, is there anything I can research right now? Okay. Uh, Paleberry is done. Okay, and let's scan the flowers for some reason. I have no idea why. Anyway, uh, buildings, production. Where are you? Assembler. Oh, yeah. Modular frames and rotors. I can't even make those yet. Because I'm supposed to be unlocking those in here. Oh, I can too. Oh, those are actually pretty, pretty cheap and easy to make. Alright, what did I need for it? Four rotors and three modular, what are the, yeah, modular frames. Which means I need to make one more of those. No, three more of those. Two, three. One, two, three. Three. And one more batch of screws. Oh, <laughs> now you got another, another eye which needs another ingot. And a rod. That's why you automate. There's so many different, so many different recipes and pr processes you have to do. Oh, that's not what I want to do. Assembler. No. I guess I gotta make three more rotors then. And why am I making rods? I haven't made. What is wrong with me today? Nothing. Nothing's wrong with me. These things are so slow. They can't keep up to me. Well, I'm gonna have to address the power situation before I can even do anything about that. Alright, make more screws. And make more rotors. Okay. Now we can make the assembler. What was the power usage on that? 15. Ooh. Gonna have to make a few more biomass burners, I think. Okay, I'm actually going to need uh, just one for now. Because I'd like to get these reinforced frames out. Or reinf whatever, these things mass produced. So we go to the inputs on this side. Let's see if we can find a half decent place to stick it, actually. I have no idea what that was. I hope it wasn't anything trying to kill me. Alright, conveyor time. Yeah, it's like fireworks going off or something. Okay, one there and uh, one there. Okay, so we are getting there. And then basically everything else goes to storage. Oh yeah, this is going to be for the copper. So now the copper, I need, I need two more constructors. Uh, one constructor here. This is going to be making the wire. And any more reinforced plates. Okay, hang on. Okay, I got it. Let's make sure I'm recording properly. So, yeah, now I got enough to make two more constructors, or three actually, in case I need them. So, there's no put there, but I'm not too worried about that. So, constructor will go. Uh, we're not going to get in line with this one, I don't think. This got so close. That's fine. So we'll just get in line with the other one. If I can find the sweet spot. Where are you? There you are. Nice. Uh, that little green line. And where are you? There. Alright. So now we can very well to here. Can't afford. Oh man, I'm poor. And the power ran out too. I should probably get this up and running again. Ran out about five minutes ago. Here's this big ka And you know everything's down. Probably going to have to move that generator over somewhere a little more accessible. Alright, we'll put that in there. I'll we'll put uh, this in here. And I can run all the way over here. 
Now, as far as I know, the conveyor belts don't actually use power, which is... It's an interesting thing. Alright. On. And we are running again. Okay. So. Run over here. Grab some plates. Which are... Uh, this box, yes. Okay, plates, and that was wire. All right, conveyor time. All right, like that. Uh, that one's connected. Good. So now this one is producing wire. So one is gonna have to be going into cables. So we're gonna have yet another splitter. And I always, I gotta get used to hitting the right click there to get out of here. So another splitter will do like so. And oh, that's not the right way. That's the right way. Come on. I wanna see if I can get this one really close. Oh wow, I can get like really, really close. And I gotta find that magic spot again. Where is it? Where is it? And this has been another episode of BC Tries to Find the Green Line. There it is. Again, holding like Alt or Shift or something to get an auto snap would help. Sure. Looked a lot closer than I thought it was. Alright, then this goes into another constructor. And you know what? So there's an assembler here. Let's actually put the constructor down here. If I hit stop hitting the wrong buttons, so I'm the constructor down here. Uh, let's see if we can get one. Come on. You're just there. Sure. I missed, but good enough. Okay, and then. Yeah, I'll just do like so. Alright, so this is going to go ahead and make cables. Uh, now that I think about it. Take that out, and we'll connect it off of the side. Coaching of this clearance. What? Oh, yeah, I need rods for that. Yeah, it's weird. Well, I won't say it's weird. I just got to pay attention. But you have a conveyor out, and it's telling you you don't have the resources, even though you know you have it. And it help if I stop hitting that stupid button. It's not the game, it's me. I'll admit it. But now, now we go over here. Now that I actually have conveyors. Uh, that's not what I was looking for. I was looking for uh, three. So I'll do this and like so and like so. Oh, I just realized something. That ain't gonna work. Cause I need output on that. Hmm. I'm wondering. Gotta get rid of these out of my way. I'm almost thinking. We might have to go up and over. Yeah, I think so. So I'm gonna go like here. We'll bring it up one. See if we can very last connect to that. It will. Okay, we'll get another pull down. We can very pull, which is number four. Uh, sure, like that. And then connect with conveyors. Just like so, and this will come out and go to storage. And then this one here. Now I think about it, I probably should actually try to come out the side. Would make more sense. You would think. And we'll get rid of this. Get rid of that. We'll get another pole in here. Just enough so I can get that conveyor underneath. Told you it was going to be a rat's nest. 
Okay, so then I can have my this coming out to storage here. So then that gives us wires, cables. Screws, plates, reinforced plates. Wow, look at that machine. That's cool. Gonna be selling to see that up and running. All right, now we need some power poles. Now I have a lot of machines here. So I think I'm gonna put one there. Put another one. Not there, because I don't have any concrete. And yes, I have to get the concrete up and running too. Now. I'm assuming, from what I've seen, that it goes through the smelter. Actually, no. Would it be a smelter or a crafter? Or a constructor? I have no idea. We'll find out. We can find out right now, because we've got a whole bunch of machines here. We can in open up and investigate the recipes. Yes. Okay, so it goes into a constructor then. So then that, way, that means we don't actually have to use a refinery for it. Okay, so there, there, there. What was I doing? I was... What was I doing? Power poles. Yes. Alright, and we'll drop one there. And... If you think this is excessive, you don't know me too well. I'll admit that. That will stick it right. Because I do have a reach on these. Go here. And that should be able to connect to the grid. Now to get some better generators going. And again, I always hit the wrong stupid button. Uh, and I actually have enough to build a few of them. All right, where's power row going to be? So set up right over here. Is there a node over here? I got a mine. No. Okay. Ah, that's a weird footprint for the hitbox that it is. Alright, so one. I'm not going to worry about the green lines. I'm just going to do the best I can with the, the, hit, the ghost box. What I'm going to do is I'm going to probably go with five. Uh, I'm just anticipating future growth making sure I have enough power for everything and then we'll put one right here no I won't because I don't have the plates for it but I think that should be good alright so let's get that out uh, let's actually see what I'm using right now see what my power situation is like uh, so yeah okay, we can get away with 40 for now uh, something's full so something's not running that's for sure uh, we can always keep this thing going if we need to. Alright, what do I have for cables on me? Not even close. But I should have some already made. Unfortunately, I have to run all the way over here to get them. Currently. Let's so actually see how this thing has done. I know it's a slow machine, but there we go. Cables. Alright, power to the machines. Actually, that, that's not not power to the machines. You know where that's going to lead, right? Okay, so now let's go ahead and see here. Because I have to connect that to that. And then this has to connect over to there. See, i got to make sure I have enough connections on each pole. So like that, and then like that to that. Okay, the assembler will go on there. We'll also take those two constructors. Oh, wow, you can actually connect them together. That's funny. I didn't mean to do that. Now, why? How does that even work? Like, seriously, developers, if you're, if you're watching this, why would you do that? Makes no sense. Yeah. Like, just even having it allowed in code just doesn't make any sense at all. Alright, so you need to get connected to there. I got one free there, but I'm going to keep that one open for an extension. 
Okay, so what else needs to be hooked up here? I got two of these. So one there, one there, and there. Which leaves one spot on that one. Okay, that's all hooked up. Should be hooked up. Yes, it is. Okay, then I'm going to have a pole over here. And I'm actually going to need two of them. Unfortunately, I only have. I can only have one on here and more concrete. Of course, I do. But anyways, let me get the rest of this hooked up, and then I'll bring it back when it's time to move things out of the way and get everything up and running.